Hello, Evelyn McKnight, One Arm University. Thank you for joining us today. Here's where we talk about the many things that we can do with one arm. Today, we're gonna to talk about one of my favorite things to do in the winter time, and that's cross country skiing. So again, thanks for joining us. Please follow, like, share, um, add comments. I'll try to answer those as best I can, as much as we can, and I hope that we can really uh, create a community where we help each other out and give each other suggestions. So here we are, let's go cross-country skiing. One of the challenges of cross-country skiing is getting your skis on. So things to keep in mind, it's nice if you've got your skis really thawed out so you don't have a crust of ice that you have to break through. Next, position yourself so you've got something to lean against so that you're really good and solid. So I'm leaning against this barn and I'm gonna step one foot in at a time. This is hard no matter what you got, how many arms you got. A spider would have trouble with this. And there we go. That's it. So let's talk about cross country skiing. First, you need good gear. So uh, be sure that your gloves are allow you to grip your pole well. And of course you need, you know, warm snow clothes, whatever the temperature is. Um, the shoes are important, the boots. Be sure that they're laced comfortably, snugly, but not tourniquet style around your ankles so that you have good support in your ankles. Now, one-armed cross-country skiing, you want to really engage your core and your upper leg muscles. Don't overuse your sound arm with, with the pulling aspect of it because that can really get you into trouble with pain and you know possibly even injury. So really engage your core muscles, really engage your top thighs, and uh, really move forward from the center of your being. So, and another thing that I really need to tell you is really be careful uh, as best you can. Nobody wants to fall, but as best you can, avoid falls. And for that reason, keep your cell phone with you and or skate with a buddy. Because I've done, been there, done that, I have fallen and it was just impossible for me to get up. I tried and tried and tried and tried. And of course, I'd forgotten my phone that day. I was alone. All the things you're not supposed to do. So it ended up I had to physically untie my boot uh, and then take my shoe out of my boot and fumble around with that shoeless foot to get some footing to actually get up, stand up. And then I had to put my wet, cold foot back in the boot and skate home. So for that reason, keep a buddy with you, keep your cell phone with you, uh, really engage that core again. Don't go on icy conditions. Um, be careful of very thick snow that there's been a track made because you can get the lip of your ski uh, hung up on that track and that topples you over. So I think you have to be a little cognizant of the conditions and be real careful. So let's go. Let's have some fun. So the last step, take it off your skis. Again, have something to lean against so you've got good balance. Usually I can't get it done just with my pole, so I have to use my chin also. 